Hello space enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're celebrating a giant leap for lunar exploration, the successful mission of China's Chang-6 probe. This wasn't just any moon landing. Chang-6 touched down on the far side of the moon, a region permanently hidden from Earth's view. This mission marks a significant achievement in space exploration, and we're here to dive deep into all the details. The Chang program, a legacy of lunar exploration. Before we unpack Chang-6, let's rewind a bit. China's Chang Lunar Exploration Program has been steadily making history for over two decades. Named after the mythical Chinese moon goddess, Chang missions have focused on robotic exploration of our lunar neighbor. There have been various successful missions. Chang 1, 2007, first Chinese lunar orbiter, capturing high-resolution images. Chang 2, 2010, further lunar mapping and preparation for future landings. Chang 3, 2013, China's first successful lunar landing and deployment of the U-2 rover. Chang-4, 2019, the groundbreaking landing, on the far side of the moon, a first for any nation. Aimed to study the far side's unique environment, including its geological composition, radiation levels, and potential for future resource utilization. Chang-5, 2020, focused on collecting and analyzing lunar samples to understand the moon's composition, geological history, and potential resources. The samples were young, around 2 billion years old, and provided insights into a specific time period. Each mission has built upon the success of the previous one, pushing the boundaries of lunar science and technology. Chang-6 is the latest chapter in this exciting saga. Chang-6 probe will be the first ever to land on the far side of the moon to take samples and bring them back to Earth. Chang-6, reaching for the far side. The far side of the moon, also called the lunar far side, holds a special mystique. Unlike the familiar face we see from Earth, this hemisphere remains permanently hidden due to the moon's synchronous rotation. The far side has a unique geological history and environment compared to the near side. Studying this region can offer valuable insights into the moon's formation and evolution. Chang-6 specifically targeted the South Pole Aiken Basin, a massive impact crater on the far side. This ancient crater is believed to be one of the largest in the solar system, potentially holding clues to the moon's early bombardment history. The mission, landing, sampling, and liftoff. Chang-6 is a robotic lunar exploration mission by the China National Space Administration, launched in May 2024, consisted of a lander, an ascender vehicle, and a return capsule. After a flawless journey, the lander touched down on the lunar surface, within the spa basin on June 2, 2024. China is the only country to have landed on this remote region of the moon. The far side of the moon has no direct communications link with Earth, so the landing procedure was largely autonomous, although engineers could still monitor the situation and send instructions using the Quick Hayato Relay satellite, which launched in March this year and is currently in lunar orbit. The lander has four scientific instruments, one each from France, Italy, Pakistan and Sweden, to study the area around its landing spot. It is also equipped with a drill, and a scoop intended to grab about 2 kilograms of lunar material to be stowed away in the ascent module. These samples, particularly those from deeper layers, could reveal details about the moon's internal composition and potential resources. Here's where things get even more impressive. On June the 4th, the ascender vehicle separated from the lander and lifted off from the lunar surface. This marked the first ever successful launch from the far side, a testament to China's advanced spacecraft technology. The lander is now in the process of collecting samples, using a robotic scoop to gather surface material and a drill to extract rock from around 2 meters underground. According to the China National Space Administration, this process will take 14 hours, spread over two days. Once the samples have been collected, they will be transferred to the ascent vehicle, which will blast through the moon's exosphere to meet with and transfer the samples to the orbiter module. The orbiter will then make its way back to Earth and release a ray entry capsule containing the samples on the 25th of June, so it can land at the Sizuang Banner site in Inner Mongolia. If all goes as expected, the mission will last 53 days, 30 days longer than Chang-5. The significance of Chang-6. These samples could be crucial to our understanding of the history of the moon, Earth and the entire solar system. They should help us understand the many asteroids and asteroid bits that smashed into Earth and the Moon about 3.9 billion years ago during a period known as the Late Heavy Bombardment and could also explain why the rocks on the far side of the Moon are different from those on the near side. Chang-6's success carries immense significance for lunar exploration. Here are some key points. Unveiling the farm side. This mission provides unprecedented access to a previously unexplored lunar region, offering a window into the Moon's hidden history. Sample analysis. Studying the collected samples has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the moon's formation, composition, and resource potential. The preceding Chang-5 mission returned 1.731 kilograms of material, 
from the northern hemisphere of the lunar near side. The Chang-6 mission's lander is designed to collect up to 2 kilograms of lunar far side material including surface soil and rocks, using a scoop and subsurface samples, using a drill. If the mission is successful, China will become the first nation to land, collect, and deliver samples back to Earth from the far side of the moon. Technological Advancements The mission showcases China's advanced spacecraft capabilities, particularly the successful far side launch. This paves the way for more ambitious lunar missions in the future. International Collaboration Chang-6 embodies the spirit of international cooperation in space exploration. Sharing the data and findings with the global scientific community will benefit all of humanity. If Chang-6 is successful, it will mark China's second sample return mission to the moon and the first time that dust from the lunar far side has ever been collected and returned to Earth. Future Plans Chang-6 is the beginning of Phase 4 of China's planned moon exploration program, which is expected to consist of two more robotic missions, including a small flying probe. After that, plans are to begin sending crewed missions to the moon which China aims to start launching by 2030 and possibly even build a permanent lunar base. The nation wants to build an astronaut outpost near the South Pole called the International Lunar Research Station later in the 2030s. With help from partners such as Russia, Belarus and Pakistan, China plans to launch two separate missions to the South Pole of the Moon around 2026 and 2028, including testing using lunar soil to 3D print bricks, as precursors to a lunar base. Chinese scientists will share scientific data generated by the mission with their international partners and carry out joint research. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then please like it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to write down your comment on China's mission to the moon.